Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you so very much. I'm MPP Roman Babber, and I'm proud to announce my intention to seek the leadership of the Conservative Party of Canada. Je suis député de l'Ontario, Roman Babber, et je suis fier d'annoncer mon intention d'obtenir le leadership du Parti Conservateur du Canada. I can tell you how incredibly honored and humbled I am to stand before you. I've always believed and lived the Canadian dream. And I'm here to reassure you, and every Canadian, and every young Canadian, and every new Canadian, that Canada remains the best country in the world. And despite the challenges, please have faith in Canadian kindness. Have faith that our democracy is strong and our opportunities are plenty. It's time to heal, and I invite you now to turn a page and join me in uniting this country. Many of you know that I'm an immigrant to Canada. I came here with my family when I was 15, a few blocks away from here, and we didn't have a cent to our name. My first mattress was from the recycling bin across the street. But it didn't matter, because I always had a job, and I always had this incredible joy since I had opportunity. Canada gave me every opportunity to study, to work, to succeed, to form a small business just five floors above where we're situated right now, and get elected to represent the very same community that welcomed me as a new Canadian 26 years ago. that Canada is the best country in the world because all you need to succeed in Canada are two things. You need to work hard and you need to be nice to people. That's all. And we get to do that and keep our cultural and religious values. We're free to be ourselves. But sadly, many Canadians fear that that is no longer the case. And I'm here because I'm not going to sit back as Canadians are losing faith in government, losing faith in democracy, and losing faith in Canadian opportunity. No. You know, I'm so saddened that Canadians are losing trust in government. They rightfully think that most politicians care about their careers more than they care about Canadians. No one believes anyone anymore. That's terrible. Over the past four years, I demonstrated that I say what I believe and that I'll always defend Canadians, even when it's unpopular. Lockdowns were the greatest policy error of our generation. Yeah. But groupthink and cancel culture threatened everyone into silence. But I refused to turn my back on healthy kids and adults who were suffering from the collateral harm of lockdowns and spoke out regardless of the risk because people come before politics. Amen. I also defended those who made a different medical decision because we should never have anyone do anything against their will. I also stood up against my former government for families of children with autism. So that's my commitment to you. You will always know where I stand and I will always do what I believe is right. I like to think that my lapel flag represents all of you in Parliament, in every meeting, in any event, anywhere I go, you're coming with me. And if elected Prime Minister, I will never, I will never let government hurt you again. Join me and we'll restore faith in government. I'm so very concerned for Canada's democracy. Censorship, limits on mobility, and discrimination are things my family escaped when we fled a communist regime. Freedom is why new Canadians choose Canada, and I will defend and restore Canada's democracy. I won't allow any Canadian to be treated differently because of their medical decision. Shame on Justin Trudeau 
for discriminating against Canadians. And I will not have any passports, any mandates, and no QR codes. No. No digital ID. We should encourage free and fair discussion instead of censoring people who disagree with us. We must show respect for the rule of law, which means government is also under the law. Mon gouvernement fédéral va défendre les Canadiens et Canadiennes contre la loi 21. J'aime le multiculturalisme du Canada. C'est une des meilleures choses de notre pays. Il est inacceptable que le Canadien et les Canadiens soient obligés de choisir entre leurs valeurs religieuses et leur capacité à nourrir leur famille. Ainsi, je veux défendre le droit de chaque Canadien et Canadien d'être ouvert à propos de leur religion. My federal government will defend Canadians against Bill 21. I love Canada's multiculturalism. It's one of the best things about our country. And Canadians shouldn't have to choose between their faith and their ability to put food on the table. So I will defend the right of every Canadian to be open about their faith. And finally, I had every blessing I have every blessing this country has to offer. And I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up on Canadian opportunity. I always believe that work is sacred. Work is the most equitable and fair metric in a free society. Canadians don't need any more woke lectures. We want the ability to make an honest living to learn a trade or to start a business. Canadians don't want basic income. We want to earn an income. Yeah. It's time to revive our economy, open our borders and ports, start new projects, and get Canadians excited about the future. It's time to get out of the house and get everyone back to work. It's time to let people work. Hashtag, let people work. <laughs> we are not going to let young Canadians give up on their dream to own a home. Federal government should encourage supply. We should increase the RSP exemption for first-time home buyers. And we need to build roads and transit to create new and affordable communities. We have to restore access to health care. Canada has one of the fewest hospital beds per capita among OECD countries. Canada's natural resources are a blessing, and I will not let oil and gas be cancelled. It'll help us fix our balance sheet, and it's also better for the planet. This remains the best country in the world, and we will restore Canadian opportunity. But before we can restore opportunity, restore our democracy, and trust in government, we have to strengthen and unite the Conservative Party. We can't be afraid to stand up for what's right. Canadians coast to coast are counting on us, and we need to make everyone feel welcome in the Conservative Party of Canada. I'm first and foremost, a democratic conservative. We must commit to respecting basic democracy and difference of opinion within the Conservative Party. We need to welcome back disillusioned Canadians who left because our party did not defend them against lockdowns and passports. We must stretch and welcome more Canadians and offer them a vision they can believe in. New Canadians come to Canada for freedom and opportunity. Those are conservative values. Young Canadians want to work succeed and build a future. We must offer them a hopeful message and back it up with action. We must reach out to Canadians like myself who live in an urban center. 
our party needs to hear from them. Let's articulate a reasonable and practical stance, rooted in kindness. And that's what I'm going to bring. Change is coming. We have a magnificent team. We offer, we offer a credible and authentic leadership. We're going to disrupt politics and change the way politics is done so we can reignite and unite the Conservative Party and so we can win and unite our wonderful country. Join me at joinroman.ca and thank you, thank you so very much.